How's this week been? Uh, pretty good. I mean, the weather's feeling pretty good. It's getting a little cooler out, thank God. And uh, the team just work, working every day to get better and uh, hitting, the, hitting the film room pretty hard. And it's been a pretty good week of practice. How far along are you guys on the offensive line compared to the first game against Memphis to the last game against Missouri? Uh, completely different. I mean, our old line as a group is just we're a lot better in shape. And uh, I feel like we're really hound down our technique and play more physical and just, uh, just getting all like the, the little things right to really make an effect on the game. Uh, it probably really just comes down to technique is the biggest thing we're getting better at. Do you guys have any awareness of who's playing quarterback behind you, snap to snap basis? Oh uh, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes uh, you may it's someone else behind there, but you can usually tell by the way we call our plays. So I mean, but uh, other than that, we usually typically know who's who's behind us. Do you have to think about it differently depending on who's behind you? Maybe hold a block a little longer if it's one or the other, or anything like that. Uh, probably with Matt, the balls and get off a lot faster just because he's more like throw heavy. And then uh, JR, you just never know what he's going to do, if he's going to stay back there or start running around. So you always got to be alert to uh, always finish the blocks. That's the same with Matt, too. I mean, you always got to just finish your blocks. Is it any harder on you when, like you said, you don't really entirely know what's going on behind you? No, it's not. Not at all. We get our plays and we just execute them. So. Just is, that, is that why you got, the, uh, got a couple more illegal receiver downfield, though? Uh, I mean, not really. It's just kind of – it's always tempting to go downfield when we get those, uh, like our don't go downfield calls because they're right there, but you don't really know how far you are from the line of scrimmage. So, I mean, it's just sometimes you just misjudge it. Gotcha. With those plays with your internal clock on the RPOs, when do you know when to go? Oh, uh, well, usually a lot of the plays are designed like, like the RPOs. Like you're, you're by the time uh, you get your first three steps down, either the balls are the balls already thrown, or you're or the running backs already running with it. So, it's usually pretty fast for RPOs. What's your view of uh, Jalen Cunningham's progress? Uh, completely different player from the beginning of the year. He's, uh, he's just gotten a lot better. He's been hitting the weight room, losing weight, and getting stronger. And just mentally, he's getting a lot better. And uh, that was his biggest thing, because he had it physically. I mean, he's like 350. But now it's all coming together with him mentally. And he's just, he kind of has that. He just flicked on a switch, and he's just he's playing hard. What kind of challenges are you know, defensive line going to present to you guys? And in your mind, do they compare to anybody y'all faced already this season? Uh, they're probably more comparable to Alabama. It's more four down. And like the guys are probably just as big. There's, there's a couple 330-pound guys. So just pad level's big this this week. So we've been working a lot on endo and stuff on uh, on pad level, just, uh, just driving them off the ball. Is the mullet popular in near Nashville? Uh, I, don't have been, I haven't been back in a couple months, so I don't really know. But uh, a couple of my teammates, my roommate, Alex, he's growing the mold out with me. So a couple, couple of the track guys, they got mullets too. So, yeah.